and observed that on the two occasions that the matter has come before this court, hearing dates were given by the court and not by the registry as is the general practice. This to my mind suggests that prima facie the honorable judges consider the matter to be of great public importance in if, if facing substantial question of law deserving priority listing and hearing. The parties in their submission to court added that not only are the not only a substantial question of law raised, but constitutional issues are pertinent to the dispute. Four, I'm persuaded that the Honorable Judges were right in treating the matter as one of great public importance involving substantial question of law, necessitating hearing on the basis of priority. I have had the opportunity of studying the record and considering the issues arising in these appeals, I have formed the opinion that such issues are indeed of great public importance, um, affecting inter area thousands of teachers, as well as millions of school going children and their parents, and I'm satisfied that it will be in the interest of justice to increase the number of judges to hear this matter. Accordingly, I give direction that a five judge bench shall be shall shall be and is hereby duly constituted to hear the three appeals in this matter. Five, for avoidance of any doubt, I should also wish to clarify that this decision to empanel a five judge bench is specific to this case, given its unique facts and in no way intended and is in no way intended to be to set a president. Dated mid at Nairobi, uh, this 28th of September 2015. That's the, the reasons why, another, that's the justification for the empaneling of a five judge bench. Um, Um, you can have a, a, a signed copy, a photocopy of the, of the decision. You can also pass this. Yes, I think those three copies are enough. You can give, uh, you can take further copies here now here. You can give a, uh, 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 we can take further copies. Um, yes, I don't need do one more. I can release one more. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, the only point is that uh, the court by the president of the court of appeals makes the evidence. Yeah. And uh, as far as we are concerned, I think the underwriting, particularly in putting the order in writing, for the matter being of uh, such great public importance, it's always going to be absolutely clear. which is on the subject. Yes. So I again understand you very clearly. What what um, what is your intention now? I was waiting because I indicated to uh, the bench why I was not on my feet uh, stating the appearance because your lordships and your ladyships walked in when we were still consulted here. But we had reached a particular stage where I was suggesting is it not more convenient perhaps for us to take that minute to see if we can agree with the issue that we were discussing. Yes. Because we had not finalized that, I was expecting another uh, friend here perhaps to indicate to the court to whether that is a good way of going forward or whether that is a good Yes, the Honourable the Attorney General. May it please you, Lord. Uh, <coughs> it is true that about 10 minutes before the court convened, the Honourable Form Waiter Senior Counsel 
made certain suggestions as to how, in his opinion, and I think speaking for the rest of his team, this matter could be advanced in the strict sense of that word, compromised. I have consulted my colleagues, and we note in particular that we were last before your lordships one week ago, and that in the morning of that Tuesday, we were confronted by the application that detained us for the whole day and that ended with the orders that you made and the further orders that the President of the Board has made. This morning, speaking for myself, I have been confronted with a fresh application in the matter, seeking other orders in the matter, indeed seeking orders that this appeal should not proceed today at all for reasons that are set there. To my mind, and in my experience, if this was a view sincerely and legitimately held uh, by the applicants now, one week was more than sufficient time to make overtures to us and to make a request to us about compromising the appeal that this was made 10 minutes to the hearing of the appeal, to me, and again I want to speak for myself, is consistent with the way this case has been conducted by the respondents. Which way is that, my lords? It is a way that seeks to, by whatever means possible, ensure that a just and fair determination of the issues before court is avoided. I cannot therefore myself join in an application that seeks for more time for us to discuss. I would wish to be heard today and now. Those are the instructions from my client. Today and now. I would also wish to point out that the, the, the ruling you have read here, my lords, if we needed any authority for the proposition that this is a matter of great national importance that ought to be handled expeditiously to allow the parties to resolve the matters between them so that third parties, third parties, parents, teachers, may be put in a situation where they, they are not adversely affected by either the conduct of the applicants or the conduct of the respondents. It is therefore our position that if the applicants still have faith in the application that they filed this morning, notwithstanding that it was served to me or to us an hour ago, we are ready, able, and willing to proceed. Further loss of time can only serve to reward a party that has made it very clear that that is exactly what they want. Time to be lost. Yeah, um, if I understood the senior counsel properly, I think he was saying uh, that you require about 30 minutes to discuss the, for, the way forward, how the, the, the matter should be handled. There is a way forward that is totally unacceptable to us. It's the line in the sand, which is this. The orders of Duma Nderi J must be stayed. If they are not stayed, we have no instructions to negotiate any other. But if they are stayed by consent, everything else is on the table for negotiation. I think that's, that's the... I uh, made that very clear to him. I, I think these are the matters that uh, 
senior council was uh, suggesting could be discussed before we embark on the um, exercise of um, hearing either the application or the appeal. But he himself has said that uh, that is a red light 